Hi there, and welcome to this Tuts Plus course on building NPM packages. I'm Andrew Burgess, and I will be your instructor for this course. In this course, we're going to build a simple JavaScript library that we're going to publish as an NPM package. Now, if you're not familiar with NPM, that stands for Node Packaged Modules, or if you're talking about the tool itself, I guess you could call it the Node Package Manager. NPM is similar to RubyGems in that it's a nice way to package up JavaScript libraries so that they can easily be used by many different people in many different applications. And so in this screencast series, we're going to learn how to build our own Node package. However, we're not just going to learn how to publish Node packages in this screencast series. I hope you're going to take a lot more away from this than that. On a larger scale, this course is really about good practices to follow when building any JavaScript project that you expect other people to use. In fact, we're actually going to make sure that our NPM package can also be used as a client-side library in the browser. Why not, right? I hope you're going to learn that there's nothing special about an NPM package. It's just a regular collection of JavaScript code that we've published in a specific way. Now, to follow along with this screencast series, you'll of course need to have the NPM tool installed. And of course, you'll also need Node.js. Now, you can get Node.js at nodejs.org. And if you go ahead and download the installer for your operating system and install that, it will install both the Node.js tools and also NPM. Now, we're also going to be using Grunt, the JavaScript task runner. This actually isn't required, but Grunt is a collection of tools that make developing in JavaScript or just front-end code in general a little bit easier. So we're going to be using this. Now, if you're not familiar with Grunt, I recently published a Tuts Plus course on Grunt, so you can go ahead and check that out on tutsplus.com. If you are familiar with Grunt, you'll be right at home with what we're doing. Now, if you haven't used Grunt before, we'll need to go ahead and install that. Let me show you how we do that now. Open up your command line and run npm install dash g grunt dash cli. Now if you haven't used npm before, this is a good introductory command. npm is our main command here, and we're telling it we want to use the install command, and the package we're installing is grunt dash cli, or grunt command line interface. We're also setting the dash g flag so that this package will be installed globally. It won't just be installed for this single project. So you can go ahead and run that, and if you don't have grunt installed, this will go ahead and install it. Now while that's installing, let's come back to the browser here. There's another tool that we're going to use to create our initial project directory, and that is grunt init. We're going to have to install that package too. That package will allow us to use a template to set up our project, and this is the template we're going to use. You can get it at github.com slash gruntjs slash grunt dash init dash node, and this link will be in the notes underneath this screencast. So back here, you can see this is installed just fine. That's good, so I'll go ahead and clear that. And now we will do npm install dash g for grunt dash init. And that will go ahead and install this grunt init library, which will allow us to use our template. Excellent. And now that that's installed, we want to download our template. First, I'm just going to make a directory in the home folder called dot grunt dash init. Now I already have this directory. However, as you can see, however, if you haven't created it yet, that directory will be created for you. So now we can do git clone. I'll paste in that URL and I'll say we want to put it into that dot grunt dash init folder and we'll put it into its own folder called node. So that will be the template that we're going to use. And now that that template has downloaded, we have finished all the setup that we need to do and we can actually start working on our project.